Across Portland, there are hundreds of music venues, 300 to be exact, and some of them can be difficult to navigate if you've never been. This week, Willamette Week took a look at a few of the more popular venues and compiled the list of things you may want to know before heading out. And joining us to talk about the issue and give local music lovers some sage advice is Willamette Week Assistant Arts and Culture Editor Bennett Campbell Ferguson. As always, Bennett, nice to have you on the program. Good to see you too, Steve. Thank you. One of the larger venues profiled is more Portland adjacent. We're talking about Edgefield here. Uh, what should people know before heading out to Troutdale? Uh, my favorite detail that we learned is that you have to be careful about what kind of chairs you bring. Apparently, if they're too high, uh, they'll, they'll actually measure them there. And if it's too high, you'll have to take it back to your car. So, yes. Be, be wary or, or cherry, as I like to say. <laughs> <laughs> you also looked at the Crystal Ballroom. What's the best way to get in there? Other interesting facts you learned about this decades-old venue. Well, the best way to get in is to go through Lola's room. And as far as interesting facts, we, we took a little look into this story that uh, during a set at the, the Crystal, uh, Little Richard fired Jimi Hendrix, which... As far as we can tell, that's uh, just an urban legend. Uh, allegedly, it was actually Tina Turner who was performing there that day. But, you know, it's still fun to kind of explore these, these stories and see how much truth there is to them. Now, you also looked at Mississippi Studios. Where should people head for the best view there? Well, the consensus was definitely the balcony, which I have to say that came up with a lot of music venues we covered, uh, in, including the Aladdin as well. So it wasn't just Mississippi, yeah. What other venues did you look into, Bennett? Well, I think the one that was the most fun or the most colorful to investigate was Dante's. And I, I, I like this little detail. Apparently, they had a, a slice of pizza a while back called the Vegetar Vegetarian Surprise, which apparently had bacon. So well, watch out for that one. <laughs> that sounds pretty good, actually. <laughs> so it's you know maybe it's because it's dinner time and I'm ju I'm just hungry but it sounds really good. <laughs> Bennett Campbell Ferguson, always great to see you, sir. And we'll see you on here again very soon, I'm sure. Sounds good, thank you. Yeah, but you take care of yourself. You can read the entire article in the latest edition of Willamette Week on newsstands now or online at wweek.com.